All right, over to you, Marcy. Thanks, Megan. All right, welcome everyone. Welcome to our yoga class. So to begin, and it sounds like we have a couple new people on today, so that's very exciting. So welcome, welcome. Glad that you are here. And if you haven't ever done yoga before with me, um, with the classes I teach, if you ever have any questions, you are very free to ask questions and I'll do my best to answer them. And also, um, this is a place where we, where I hope you will feel safe and present. And it's a place where you can feel grounded and maybe get a little bit of a workout as well. So go ahead and find an easy seated position and whatever that is that feels good for you today. It could be in a, an easy cross-legged position, or you may have your legs stretched out in front of you with your legs slightly bent. Whatever feels good for you today, this is your yoga, this is your practice. So do what feels good for you. As long as you are moving and it feels good, then you're doing the right thing. All right. So in this easy seated position, you can rest your hands in your lap or you can bring them together at your heart in prayer hands or Anjali Mudra, whatever feels good for you. And then I invite you to close your eyes if you would like, or you can just take a soft gaze in front of you and then just take some easy breaths in and out. Breathing in through your nose and then back out through your mouth. Just easy breaths in and out. And when that feels complete, you can blink your eyes open if you had them closed. Go ahead and rest your hands down at your sides. And together on your next inhale, let's bring our arms out to the side and up over your head. Arms parallel with your ears, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. And then as you exhale, release your arms out to the side and down as you let your arms come back down to the floor. And let's do that again. Breathing in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head as you let your lungs fill full of that fresh air. And then as you exhale, gently let your arms float out to the side and down. Good. Now just rest one hand on the floor and on your next inhale, Let's bring your other arm out to the side and up over your head. And then as you exhale, we're gonna lean over to one side. And then pause in this stretch, taking a breath in and out. So you're getting a nice stretch along the left-hand side of your body. Inhale, letting your upper body come back to verticality, letting your other arm flow out to the side and down. And let's do that on the other side. Breathe in, bring your other arm out to the side and up over your head. And then as you exhale, lean over to one side. And then pause in this stretch, taking a breath in and out. And then on your next inhale, let your arm float out to the side and down, letting your back upper body come back to nice and tall. Now bring your feet in front of you with your knees bent, soles of your feet on the floor. Place your hands under your knees where they rest on your rest um, underneath your knees on your hamstrings. Your elbows are bent hugged into your side. 
On an inhale, draw your belly in towards your thighs, letting your back get nice and tall. And then on an exhale, round out your back, leaning your back toward the wall behind you, straightening your arms, and then lower your chin down towards your chest. And then inhale, draw your belly in towards your thighs, letting your back get nice and tall. And then exhale, round out your back, leaning your back toward the wall behind you, and then lower your chin down towards your chest. Also right here, you're balancing on your pelvis, and also draw your belly button in towards your spine. Inhale, let your back get nice and tall as you bring your belly in towards your thighs. We'll do this one more time. Exhale. Round out your back, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Lean your back toward the wall behind you and then lower your chin down towards your chest. Inhale, draw your belly in towards your thighs. And let's see, I'm gonna turn myself to face the short end of my mat. Go ahead and extend your legs out in front of you. And then widen your legs about, well, wider than hips width apart, or about the width of your yoga mat if you're sitting on one. And then turn your upper body to face your front right leg, framing your hands on either side of your leg. And you can bring your hands up onto your fingertips, what I like to call spider hands or cupcake hands, whatever works. <laughs> Take a nice deep breath in, letting your back get nice and tall. And then on an exhale, begin to walk your fingertips forward as you lower your upper body down to meet your front right leg. Now just come down to where you begin to feel a stretch in your lower back or maybe in your hips. And we don't ever want to feel any shooting pain. If you do, please back away from there. It's okay to feel a little bit of discom uh, discomfort um, where we feel that little bit extra stretch, but we never want to feel any pain. All right, back off from that stretch just a little, walking your fingertips in halfway. And then exhale, walk your hands forward. Maybe coming down to that same spot, or maybe you can walk your fingertips forward just a little bit more. And then pause in this stretch, continuing to breathe. We don't want to hold our breath. Inhale, walk your hands in, letting your back coming, uh, your upper body coming back to nice and tall. And let's do that on the other side. Turn your upper body to face your front left leg. Take a nice deep breath in. And then on an exhale, lower or walk your fingertips forward, gently lowering your upper body down to meet your front left leg. And again, just come down to where you begin to feel a stretch either in your hamstrings or your hips or your lower back. And then pause in that stretch, but please continue to breathe. And then back off from that stretch about halfway, walking your fingertips in. And then exhale, walk your fingertips back down. Maybe coming back to that same spot, or maybe you're able to walk your fingertips forward just a little bit more, deepening that stretch. And then continuing to breathe, let's hold that stretch for a couple breaths in and out. Inhale, walk your fingertips in, letting your back get nice and tall. And let's go down the center. So placing your fingertips on the floor in between both legs, take a nice deep breath in. And on an exhale, begin to walk your fingertips forward, lowering your upper body down 
toward the space in between your legs. And it's okay if you don't come down very far, or maybe you're even going down further than me. And that's great. And then pause when you begin to feel a stretch, either in your hamstrings or your lower back, or maybe even in your hips. Relax your shoulders. We don't want any tension in your shoulders. Back off from that stretch, walking your fingertips in about halfway. And then exhale, walk your fingertips forward, maybe coming to back to that same spot or maybe inching them forward just a little bit more. And then pause in this stretch. And inhale, walk your fingertips in, letting your back get nice and tall. Bring your legs together and let's shake out your legs. Just bringing your knees up and down, alternating up and down, just releasing any tension in your legs. Okay, in whichever way feels comfortable for you, we're gonna come onto our hands and knees. And if you have weak knees or any soreness in your knees, if you would like to grab a flat pillow or maybe a folded up blanket or towel to put underneath your knees, you can do that as well. That helps give more padding there. Placing your wrists underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, spread your fingers wide so you have a nice a uh, stable base. On an inhale, we're going to move into what is called our cow pose. So on an inhale, bring your chest forward where your, uh, your chest is facing the wall, but then relax your tummy muscles down. Just relax, release, um, just relax your tummy muscles like they're opening up and spilling out onto the floor. Just relaxing your tummy muscles down, bringing your heart or your chest forward to face the wall in front of you. And your back has a shape of, of a, it's a concave shape, like your back's going in. And then on an exhale, your back is going to go the opposite way. Begin to bring your belly button up and in towards your spine as you begin to round out your back pressing the middle of your back up toward the ceiling. Tuck your tailbone under and then lower your chin down towards your chest. Or just let your head hang heavy, relaxing your shoulders. And then inhale, let's go the opposite way. Breathing into our cow pose, relaxing your tummy muscles down, your arms are nice and straight, and you're bringing your chest forward Bring in your heart forward. Exhale into our cat pose. Draw your belly button up and in towards your spine as you round out your back. Tuck your tailbone under and then lower your chin down towards your chest. One more time, breathe into our cow pose. And then exhale to cat. Then inhale, coming back to our hands and knees. From here, lower your forearms to the floor. Bring your belly to your thighs and then bring your hips to your heels. Coming down into our child's pose. With here, you're, you're letting your head hang heavy in between your arms. And then on an inhale, begin to lift your head up. Energetically draw your hands towards your body as you lift yourself back up to hands and knees, coming back into that beginning cow pose. Bringing your heart forward, relaxing your tummy muscles down. Exhale, lower your forearms to the floor. Bring your belly to your thighs. Lower your hips to your heels and lower your chin to your chest. Inhale, begin to lift your head up. Energetically draw your hands towards your body as you lift yourself back up to hands and knees, coming back into that beginning 
cow pose. Exhale, lower your forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Good. Okay, from here, keep your knees on, your, on the floor. And on an inhale, bring your arms forward and up. And we're moving into standing on our knees with our arms parallel with our ears. Our fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling. On an exhale, let's lean our body to the right. So we're getting a nice stretch along the left side of our body. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling, and let's exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Now on an exhale, as you lower your arms, wiggle your fingertips um, side to side or up and down. Just wiggle your fingertips like rain falling down from the sky, lowering your arms down to your sides. And then bring your hands back down to the floor, back to hands and knees. Breathing into our beginning cow pose. Exhale, lower your forearms to the floor, belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. Inhale, moving into standing on knees. Bring your arms forward and up, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale back to center, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale to the left. Inhale back to center. Exhale, lower your arms out to the side and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like raindrops falling from the sky. Lowering your arms down to your sides. Bringing them back to the floor, coming back to hands and knees. Let's do this one more time. Breathing into that beginning cow pose. Relaxing your tummy muscles down. Exhale, lower your forearms to the floor. Belly to thighs, hips to heels, chin to chest. And then breathing into standing on our knees. Bring your arms forward and up. Fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Exhale, lean to the right. Inhale to center and exhale to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale, release your arms out to the side and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like rain falling from the sky. Very good. Lower your hands to the floor, coming back to hands and knees. Tuck your toes under. So now just our hands, our knees, and our toes are touching the floor. We're gonna be moving into our downward facing dog. So to do this, ground your hands and your toes into the earth and press your upper body away from the floor as you lift your knees up off the floor, lifting your hips up toward the ceiling. Pressing your upper body away from the floor. Your arms are nice and long. Your back is nice and long. Your knees can be bent. Your body is in an upside down printed V shape. Again, you can bend your knees a lot here if you would like. You can even pedal out your feet, lowering one heel and then the other. Relax your shoulders. You can either look at the floor um, or look at the, the spot on the floor in between your hands, whatever feels good for you. And then begin to walk your feet in toward your hands, shortening the distance between your feet and your hands. And as you do this, you might need to come up onto your fingertips until finally we're in a forward fold where our body is folded in half. Your arms will be um, dangling. The soles of your feet are on the floor. You can let your head hang heavy, let your hands hang heavy. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins, bringing your chest forward. 
when I say that, I mean um, your chest is just facing the wall in front of you. You're looking at the wall in front of you. And then exhale, hinge forward from the waist, folding your body in half, coming back into that forward fold. Letting your arms hang heavy, letting your head hang heavy. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Very good. Okay, I'm gonna turn and face my camera or face the long end of my mat. Standing with your feet hips width apart. Go ahead and ground your feet into the earth by lifting all toes up off the floor. So then you feel the, um, the inner side of, your, of the big toe pad over to the outside of your foot and then going back to either side of your heel. You're feeling all four corners of your feet and then lower your toes to the floor. This helps ground your feet into the earth. Okay, on an inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, fingertips, um, pointing toward the ceiling, arms parallel to your ears. And then on an exhale, just lower your arms forward and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like rain falling down from the sky. Let's do that again. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, arms parallel with your ears, fingertips pointing up toward the ceiling. Relax your shoulders down. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like raindrops falling from the sky. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head. Exhale, lower your arms forward and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like rain falling from the sky. Very good. Okay, let's add on to this. So on an inhale, if you wanna add a little bit more challenge to this, as you bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, you can come up onto your toes once your fingertips are pointing up toward the ceiling. And then exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms as you wiggle your fingertips just like rain falling from the sky. Let's do that again. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Draw your belly button in towards your spine, relax your shoulders down. Exhale, exhale, <laughs> lower your heels, lower your arms, wiggle your fingertips, just like rain falling from the sky. Let's do that again. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Drawing your belly button in towards your spine, relax your shoulders down. Exhale, lower your heels, lower your arms, and wiggle your fingertips just like rain falling from the sky. Very good. Okay, we're going to add on a little bit more. <laughs> okay. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. We're going to pause here. From here, interlace your fingers above your head. So now your arms are rounded in a circle shape. Then on an exhale, lower your heels and then turn your upper body to the right. So we're doing a little twist to the right. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes. Exhale, lower your heels and twist your upper body to the left. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes if you would like. And then from here, exhale, release your arms out to the side and down. As you wiggle your fingers, lowering your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Where your head hang, hangs heavy, your arms hang heavy. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins. Exhale, forward fold, folding your body in half. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. And let's do that again. 
Breathe in, bringing your arms out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. <laughs> your heels may come up and down as you try and balance. Yeah. Interlace. What's that? I was just confirming. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. A little bit unsteady here, but that's okay. I'm trying. No, you're doing good. Interlace your fingers above your head. And then as you exhale, lower your heels and twist to the right on an exhale. Inhale back to center, coming back up onto your toes. And then exhale, lower your heels and twist to the left. Inhale back to center. You can come back up onto your toes if you would like. Release your hands from above your head, wiggling your fingers just like raindrops as you lower your arms out to the side and down as you hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shin where your chest is facing the wall in front of you. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Very good, let's do that one more time. Breathe in, arms come out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Interlace your fingers above your head. Exhale, lower your heels and twist to the right. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Exhale, lower your heels, twist to the left. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes. We're gonna to do something a little different this time. This time, as you exhale, lower your heels, release your, um, your fingers, and then lower your arms forward and down. As you bend your knees, sinking your hips down, coming down into our chair pose. And your arms are just extend out in front of you. My palms are facing up. You can even bring your hands together at your heart if that feels better for you. Whatever feels good for you and your body today, then please do so. And then inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms up above your body. And then as you exhale, Wiggle your fingers as you lower your arms out to the side and down, just like rain falling from the sky. Hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Breathe in, come up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. Ground your feet into the earth as you use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Let's do that one, one more time, and then we'll move on to something else. Breathe in, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, coming up onto your toes. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Um, interlace your fingers above your head. Exhale, lower your heels and twist to the right. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes. Exhale, lower your heels and twist to the left. Inhale back to center, coming up onto your toes. Release your hands from above your head. Lower your arms forward and down, and lower your heels. As you bend your knees, sinking your hips down into our chair pose. Draw your belly button in towards your spine. Let's take a couple of breaths in and out here as we hold our chair pose. One more breath in and out. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms up above your body and exhale, release your arms out to the side and down as you wiggle your fingers, just like rain falling from the sky. Hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a forward fold. Inhale, come up halfway, resting your hands on your shins. Exhale, forward fold. Bend your knees a lot, sinking your hips down. 
Use your legs to come all the way back up to standing. Very good. Now I've warmed up so I can take my jacket off because I was feeling a little chilly earlier. Okay, so our next pose we're going to do, I like to call cloud pose. So for you new people, let me go over how to do this again. So I'm gonna go over just the arms first. So bring your hands together at your heart. We're only moving our arms right now. Okay, so take a deep breath in here. And then on an exhale, lower your arms down to your sides. But then as you inhale again, begin to bring your arms out to the side and up over your head. And then clap your hands up above your head. And then exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Inhale, lower your arms down. And they'll go out and around and up. Clap your hands together above your head. Exhale, lower your hands to your heart. We'll do that one more time and then we'll add our legs. Inhale, lower your arms down to your sides and then continuing with that inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up over your head, clapping your hands above your head and then exhale, lower your hands to your heart. Okay, so with this pose, you're gonna be balancing on one leg. So we're first gonna balance on our left leg. So ground your left foot into the earth, maybe squeeze your left glute muscle, get your leg nice and, and tight. And with your right foot, you're gonna be, with your right leg, you're gonna be bringing your knees forward and up. So then you're balancing on your left foot, okay? So I'll describe it as we, uh, as we add in our leg with our arms. So inhale, Lower your arms down, continuing with that inhale, bring your arms out to the side and up. And as your hands come together above your head, your right knee should be pointed forward and up. So as your hands clap together above your head, your knee is forward and up, balancing on your left foot. <laughs> mm. And then exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. And it's good you can't see me because I'm not balancing very good at the moment. <laughs> it's hard to describe and do it at the same time. Okay, so let's go on. Let's move. Let's do that one more time on um, balancing on our left foot. And then we'll move to our right foot. Okay. So hands together at your heart. Inhale, lower your arms down and around. Begin to bring your knee forward and up. Balance on your left foot, bring your knee forward. Exhale, lower your right foot, lower your hands to your heart. Now let's do that on the left side. So shift your weight to your right foot. Inhale, lower your arms down, around, and up. Your left knee is forward, bouncing on your right foot. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. And let's go to the other side. Because our, our hands are kind of making the shape of a cloud. You can imagine that. <laughs> Inhale, lower your arms down, around, and up. Right knee comes forward and up. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. Inhale, lower your arms down, around, and up. Left knee forward. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. And we're gonna move to the right knee. Inhale, arms down, around, and up. Right knee forward, exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. Moving to the left side. Inhale, lower your arms down, around, and up. Left knee <laughs> forward. Exhale, lower your foot, lower your hands to your heart. Let's do that one time each side. Breathe in, lower your arms down, around, and up. Right knee forward. Exhale, lower your right foot. Now to the left side. Inhale, down, around, and up. Ah. <laughs> Exhale, lower your, lower your foot. Now lower your arms down to your sides and shake them out. And shake out your legs there if you want to. Very good. 
And if you need a drink of water really quick, go ahead and grab one. Take a break and grab a drink if you need one. And then when you're ready, let's widen our feet wider than hips width apart. Our feet and our knees are pointed out at a 45 degree angle where my right foot is pointing toward the right front, right corner of my room. And then my left foot is pointing toward the left front corner of the room. Now open your arms out wide, fingertips pointing in opposite directions, broaden across the chest. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then on an exhale, bend your knees, sinking your hips down. And as you do so, clap your hands above your head. So that's on an exhale. And then inhale, straighten your legs, open your arms out wide again. Yeah, okay, I think I might be breathing for a minute. <laughs> okay, so let's inhale. Yeah, okay, exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down, and then clap your hands above your head on an exhale. Inhale, straighten your legs. Lower your arms so your arms are out wide, running across the chest. Exhale, bend your knees, sinking your hips down, clap your hands above your head. On an exhale, inhale, straighten your legs, open your arms out wide on an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down, clap your hands above your head. This is kind of like, like thunder clapping. Inhale, straighten your arms, or straighten your legs, open your arms out wide. Exhale, sink your hips down, clap your hands like thunder above your head. Inhale, straighten your legs, open your arms out wide on an inhale. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down, clap your hands like thunder above your head. Inhale, straighten your legs, open your arms out wide. We'll do this one more time. Exhale, bend your knees, sink your hips down, clap your hands like thunder above your head. And inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your arms, ah, relax your arms down and shake them out. <laughs> I get tired too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the shoulders. <laughs> yeah. All right, shake out your arms. And let's do some windmill toe touches, just to stretch that out. Okay. So open your arms wider than hip, or my gosh, broaden your arms. <laughs> open your arms out wide, fingertips pointing in opposite directions. On an inhale, let's bring, we'll take a deep breath in. And then on an exhale, bring your left hand down to meet your right ankle. So this is when we're twisting our upper body to the right as we raise our right hand up to the sky. On an exhale, inhale back to, this is called star pose, where our fingertips are pointing in opposite directions, broadening across the chest. Exhale, bring your right hand down to your left leg. And it doesn't have to come down to your ankle. You can come down to your shin, to your knee, to your thigh, whatever feels good for you. And then raise your left arm up toward the sky and look to the wall to your left. Inhale back to star pose, broadening across the chest. Exhale, left hand to right leg. Raise your right arm up toward the sky. Inhale back to star pose. Exhale, right hand to left leg. Raise your left arm up to the sky. Inhale back to center, one more time each side. Exhale, left hand to right leg. Right arm comes up toward the sky. Inhale back to star pose. And exhale, right hand to left leg. Raise your right arm, I mean your left arm, up toward the sky. Inhale back to center. Fingertips pointing in opposite directions. 
Exhale, hinge forward from the waist, coming down into a wide-legged forward fold. Just let your arms hang heavy, let your head hang heavy. You can sway from side to side if that feels good for you. Taking some nice cleansing breaths in and out. Let's walk your fingertips over to the right, resting both your hands on your right leg. So we're getting a nice stretch along the back side of our right leg. And then just pause there, taking a couple breaths in and out. Inhale, walk your hands back to center and all the way over to your left leg. And you can bring a bend into that leg that you're resting your hands on. And then walk your hands back to center. And then in whichever way feels comfortable for you, we're going to come down onto our hands and knees. And let's see. Let's come onto our backs. Um, so whichever way feels comfortable for you, I'm going to come down onto my bottom. And then you can gently roll your body down onto your back. Where the soles of your feet are on the floor, your knees are bent. Open your arms out wide where the backs of your hands are resting on the floor. Draw one knee in and then the other knee. So you have both your knees hugged in towards your chest and your arms are out wide. Take a nice deep breath in here. And then on an exhale, gently lower both knees to the right, but only let your knees come down about a fourth of the way and then stop. This is a good core strength exercise. So letting your knees hover in the air, drawing your belly button in towards your spine, letting your core be nice and strong. Inhale, bring your knees back to center, hugging your knees in towards your chest. And let's do that on the other side. Exhale, gently let your knees fall to the other side, and then stop. Only let them go down about a fourth of the way and stop. Letting your knees hover in the air, drawing your belly button in towards your spine and don't hold your breath, continue to breathe. Holding your core nice and strong. On your next inhale, hug your knees in towards your chest. And then on an exhale, gently let your knees fall down to that first side, but go down halfway and stop. Letting your knees hover in the air, holding your core nice and strong. Squeeze those tummy muscles nice and tight. Inhale back to center, bringing your knees in towards your chest, keeping your arms out wide. Exhale, let your knees fall to that second side, going down halfway and then stop. Drawing your belly button in towards your spine, squeezing your, your core nice and tight, nice and strong. Inhale, bring your knees back in towards your chest, back to center. Exhale, let your knees go down almost all the way, about three quarters of the way and then stop. Letting your knees hover 
don't know, a couple inches to three or four inches above the floor. A good guesstimation. <laughs> Hold your muscles in nice and tight, keeping your core nice and strong. Again, your arms are still out wide. Inhale back to center, hugging your knees back in towards your chest. And let's do that on the other side. Exhale, gently let your knees fall almost all the way to the floor and then stop. Letting your knees hover above the ground, keeping your core muscles in nice and tight. Don't forget to breathe. Inhale, bring your knees back to your chest. And finally, you are so welcome. Go ahead and lower your knees all the way to the floor. So then we're in this nice twisting stretch. Taking a couple of breaths in and out here. And then if it feels good for you, you can even straighten that top leg. This may help deepen your core stretch a little bit more, this core twisting stretch. And if you did that, you can point and flex your foot if you would like. And even draw circles with your ankle, doing circles with your ankles. Continuing to breathe, to take breaths in and out. And when that feels complete, if you had straightened that top leg, let's bend that knee now. Bring up one knee and then the other knee, bringing both knees in towards your chest. And let's do that on the other side. Exhale, gently let both, uh, lower both knees down toward the floor on the other side. Also in this twisting stretch, you can turn your head the opposite way that your knees are facing, if that feels good for you. And then of course you have the option to straighten that top leg. You can point and flex your foot or do circles with your ankle. Taking nice cleansing breaths in and out. And if you had straightened that top leg, go ahead and bend that knee in now. And then lift up one knee and then the other knee. Now go ahead and wrap your arms around your knees, giving yourself a nice big hug. And then go ahead and just rock your knees from side to side, letting your body rock from side to side in a big ball. Taking some nice cleansing breaths in and out. And then you can draw circles on the ceiling with your knees. To do that, release your arms from around your knees, placing your hands on top of your knees. And then gently let your knees move to the left just a little bit. And now draw your knees away from your body. This straightens your arms. Now bring your knees over to the right just a little bit, and now draw your knees in towards your chest, bending your elbows. And then bring them over to the left, and then away from your body to the right, and then in toward, the, uh, in toward your chest. And then to the left, away, to the right, draw it in. To the left, away, to the right, draw it in. And however that links with your breath as you go round and round, please do so. You can inhale on one side and exhale on the other. Or you could inhale one full circle and exhale another full circle. Just whatever feels good for you and your body today. This also helps massage your lower back. Once you've gone one way a few times, 
pause and go the other way. And when that feels complete, let your knees find stillness. And then go ahead and lower your arms to the floor, lowering your feet to the floor. Lowering both legs to the floor. Letting your body go nice and long, taking a nice deep breath in. And exhale, letting your whole body relax. Taking another deep breath, cleansing breath in. And with each exhale, begin to let your muscles relax and release. Letting your body relax into our Shavasana. On the top of your head, all the way down to your toes. Letting your muscles slowly release and relax. And as you relax in your Shavasana, I would like to share with you a poem about rain. And it is entitled, In Times of Silver Rain. In times of silver rain, the earth puts forth new light again. Green grasses grow and flowers lift their heads. And over all the plain, the wonder spreads of life, of life, of life. In times of silver rain, the butterflies lift silken wings to catch a rainbow cry. And trees put forth new leaves to sing. Enjoy beneath the sky as down the roadway passing boys and girls they go singing too. In times of silver rain and spring in life our new In time of silver rain. In time of silver rain. By Langston Hughes. Begin to notice the sounds in the room. Noticing the touch of the air on your skin. 
Noticing the weight of the floor underneath you. Noticing the feel of your clothes on your skin. Noticing the air as it comes into your nose and out through your mouth as your chest rises and falls with each breath. Maybe you want to wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes as you wake your body up. And if you would like, on your next inhale, you can raise your arms up above your body and back behind your head, stretching your fingers and toes in opposite directions as you fully wake your body up. Then as you exhale, lower your arms down to your side. Gently roll onto one side, gently pressing yourself up to an easy seated cross-legged position. Or whatever seated position feels comfortable for you. When you're there, resting both hands down at your sides, you can join with me as we take a nice deep breath in, bringing our arms out to the side and up over our head, filling our lungs full of that nice fresh air. And then as you exhale, gently look, lower your arms out to the side and down. Let's do that one more time. Breathe in, bringing your arms out to the side and up over your head. This time, bring your hands together above your head. And then as you exhale, gently lowering your hands down to your heart. Thank you so very much, my friends, for sharing your yoga practice with me today. May this weekend and all this next week be filled with much joy and peace and love. Namaste. 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 Thank you for guiding us today. Oh, thank you. You guys have a wonderful week and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Marcy and welcome. Dorian and Bruce. Have a good weekend. Thank you. you too. All right. Bye. Bye. Bye.